I'd like to introduce you to the captain of Blood Special Forces. Ah, a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for all the work you do for us. What? Come on, Captain, you're not my mom. Look at me. I'm the Blood Captain, brave and cool and calm. And really, really quiet. So, anyway, you two should totally come and live at the den with us. As I said, Romeo, those places are for the young. We've made a home here. That's enough. I... I get that, but there's got to be something we can do to make your lives better. Hmm. Well, there's... No, no, of course not. It's not something I can really ask of you. Once, a long time ago, my wife and I saw Miss Yuno perform at the satellite base. Ah, of course. We had such a lovely time. Her voice was gentle but strong. Everyone wore the same elated smile as she sang. It would be wonderful to hear that again. That's perfect. I haven't heard Yuno sing live in forever. Oh, she's always traveling around. It's not going to be easy to find her and get her here. We'll have a festival. People will come from everywhere. Or even if Yuno can't be there, we can have a show anyway. We can fill the streets with lanterns and get everyone together. We can rock this place. Oh, yeah. I'm psyched just thinking about it. We'll figure it out. We're God Eaters, after all. Noble of spirit and strong of heart. If everyone helps out even just a little, we'll have more than enough hands. Don't worry about a thing, Cap. I'll handle all the details. What could possibly go wrong? Now come on, we've got work to do. I feel kind of sorry for the kid. He hasn't been getting much sleep since this started. It's a little funny, though. At first, everything had to be just right to match his producer's vision. Then the problems began. Not enough material, not enough people, not enough funding. We're god-eaters. All we know is how to fight. A rational mind would have kept this simple. But Romeo's not quite possessed of a rational mind. Romeo had a plan, and we were part of it. We objected to it, but like it or not, the kid brought us into the fold. This whole thing was conceived on a whim. It was a total mess. I'm 90% sure Romeo was just winging it most of the time. Half the team was drafted, and most of them resisted the crazier parts of his plan. But then more people came to help. He changed some things, and it started going all right. Even Fran, Hibari, and the operators found some time to lend a hand. Not to mention that Fran basically rewrote the entire plan from scratch. We'd be lost without her. You know, all of this stuff really gets me thinking. Romeo can't always see the big picture, but he always wants to make people happy. That's why he gets so much support. People want him to succeed. They see the energy in him and rush to help out. You know what? He may be annoying at times, but he's a good dude. No, no thanks necessary. Uh, come on, guys. I'm not that awesome. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. My name is Romeo Leone, and I'm the event's producer. Sorry. <laughs> My cheeks hurt from smiling. I'm so excited to be up here. Just look at it. We've got this amazing stage. We've got a full house of huge fans. 
It certainly wasn't just me working hard to make all this happen. I owe so much to everybody who's been with me since day one. And to all of you here now. I started this because I love to see people smile. When you all are happy, then I'm happy. I'm not the only one who thinks that. When we celebrate together, the world itself smiles. I ask only this. Get out there, play some games, have some fun, and enjoy yourselves. You all can do that for me, right? <laughs> Amazing. Now that the boring intro is out of the way, let's get on with the show. <laughs>